When Dinosaurs Die, A Guide to Understanding Death by Lori Krasny Brown and Mark Brown. What does alive mean? Every single living being has a beginning a time to be alive, and then an ending or death. During your lifetime, your body is busy doing its work. You breathe, move, eat, see, hear, touch, taste, smell, grow, talk, play, think, and feel. Yippee! You're alive and part of the world. Why does someone die? Dying is part of life for every living thing. Death happens for different reasons. Someone may die after a long illness, so no one knew, so everyone knew he or she was going to die. Other times, it's a complete surprise. Life can be very long or very short. Even someone just born may not be strong or healthy enough to stay alive. Others may die from being hurt in an accident. Even when doctors and nurses do everything possible to help, some accident victims do not recover. Sometimes lives are lost violently, such as when someone kills someone else. It may be in war or for other reasons that are very hard to understand, such as poverty, prejudice, and drug abuse. Some, someone may even be so upset without hope about his problems that he kills himself. This is called suicide. All kinds of death make people sad. Most of us live long, healthy lives. A child, a mother, or father usually lives until he or she is very old. What does dead mean? When someone dies, her body stops working, the heart stops beating and breathing stops. The brain doesn't send or receive messages. She no longer can see, hear, touch, taste, smell, eat, play, feel, or think. She cannot move. Someone dead may look asleep, but she isn't sleeping and she cannot wake up. Feelings about death. When someone you care about dies, you may have all kinds of feelings. It may be hard to believe that a dead relative or friend won't be around again. You may have a hard time getting to sleep or have strange dreams or nightmares for a while. Losing someone who is special to you is very hard to understand. You may feel so sad and lonely that it hurts. These feelings are not always easy to talk about, but it helps if you can. It can be very scary when someone close to you dies. You may wonder about how your life will change. You might worry whether you will die too, or if someone else you love will die. Things you weren't afraid of before may scare you now. It's also natural to feel angry when you miss someone so much. Some days you may push away the very hugs you need. There are lots of ways to let out mad feelings without getting in trouble. Try running, riding your bike, swimming, basketball, skating, soccer, baseball, punching a pillow, drawing, talking to friends. You may want some time to yourself and time to be near those you love best. When someone you love, love dies, there is no wrong or right way to feel. Among friends, when someone in your family dies, 
Your life is likely to be different, but you hope your friends will treat you the same way they did before. It may be hard for your friends to know what to say or do to help you feel better. Saying goodbye. Everyone has to decide how to say goodbye when someone important to him or her dies. This is a special time to show your love and your respect. Friends and family will want to help you honor the life of your friend. A funeral is a special ceremony for someone who has just died. Your parents can help you decide whether to attend a funeral. You may have many questions about it. Going to someone's funeral or memorial service is one way to let a family know you share some of their sadness and some of their good memories too. Even if you don't go to the funeral, you can help out at home, offer extra hugs, or make up a special goodbye poem. Keeping customs. There are many special ways of doing things that help us say goodbye when someone who, goodbye to someone who has died. Some families burn incense and bow low in front of a grave. Others sing and pray together at the grave. Part of their circle is left open in honor of the dead one's spirit. Still other families spend several days in mourning by sitting Shiva. They sit on a simple wooden bench and light a candle every day. Some families often have the coffin buried underground. Others choose cremation. Many families continue to honor the dead long after they have died. They may say prayers or prepare a special offering. What comes after death? Some things about death and dying are very hard to understand, even for grown-ups. No one can know for sure what comes after death, but almost everyone has an opinion about it. If you have questions about it, ask your family or your religious leader. Ways to remember someone. Even when someone you love dies, you don't lose him completely. You still have your memories. That person can always be a part of you. There are many, many, many things you can do to remember someone. Make a scrapbook about her. Play the game I remember when with your family and friends. Look at his photograph. Keep practicing something he taught you. Write a poem about her. Keep something special of hers in a special place. Visit her grave. Name a pet or a doll or stuffed animal after him. Joke about funny things you remember her doing. Make a new friend who reminds you of her. Include her in your drawings. Plant a tree in his honor. Have a picnic to celebrate his birthday. Say a prayer. Isn't being alive awesome? At other times, you may be busy having fun, making friends, learning something new. This is not forgetting the one you love. It just means you're doing other things. Hooray for life.